Ernesto Pereda is the doctoral school director of the University of La Laguna. We used to have inside the EDUCON as tradition, uh, we have five uh, areas of, uh, of technical uh, interest of the conference. Every year, these areas change a little bit depending on the, of the proposals of the chairs of the, of the edition of the EDUCON. And we used to have one award for each one of, this, uh, of these areas of interest. The award is a diploma we send by email, it's a PDF diploma, and we put, of course, the award, the award uh, title and the presentation of the authors inside the website of each one of the year there. We have two, one more award, that is the award for the doctoral students, that we have not too much, we try to promote them, and we have a doctoral student award. And finally, we have an innovation award, that is a little bit a more complex and a more over the areas innovative award there. Then it's your turn, and thank you very much for presenting the awards. Yeah, thank you very much, Professor Castro, uh, dear colleagues. Uh, I, before uh, presenting the awards, I would like to thank the organizer for uh, choosing me for this uh, closing ceremony. I'm just giving a quick uh, overview of the way in which the awards were awarded. Uh, we first selected uh, for sure listing 10 of the best papers according to the scores given by the referees during um, the assessment process after the, the contributions were submitted to the conference site. And then uh, we nomi nominate a, um, a panel of experts that anonymously went over uh, all the parallel session in which this uh, shortlisted contribution takes place. First of all, to just check that uh, the talks were actually given and then assessing uh, the quality of the contributions as well as the talk. Uh, at least two uh, marks were necessary for the awards to be considered, and uh, on base basis on uh, these uh, uh, marks, the following results were uh, given. First of all, in the area number one, infrastructure and technologies for engineer education, the word was, um, I hope I am saying the name correctly, Dieter Pavelczak from the University of Munich with the Title: Benefits and Drawbacks of Source Code Plagiarism Detection in Engineer Education. We are non paper. Okay, so it's everything is online. So in area number two, innovation methods, teaching and learning experience in engineering educations, uh, the winner was Sabine Hammer, Daniela Seyhetmeyer, Axel Bochner, and Veronica Turner from the University of Applied Science Munich with the contribution entitled Evaluation of Diagnostic Tests for Competence that are Relevant in Computer Science. This is a German year. Yep. In area number three, attracting, engaging, and retaining human talent to engineer. The winner were Angel Fernandez, Julian Mauricio, and Marcus Vince from the Technische Universität Wien with a contribution entitled Introducing Storytelling to Educational Robotic Activities. The Arnold's here. Are the nominees present? In area number four, serious games, game-based learning and gamification for engineer education. Uh, the winner were Anna Mavrudi, Monica Divitini, and Francesco Gianni, uh, alongside Simone Mora and Doug Kiviten from the KTH Royal Institute of Technology with the contribution entitled Designing EOT Application in Lower Secondary Schools. Oh, applause anyway. And in area number five, virtual and remote labs in engineering educations. The winner were Martin Malko, Matthias Bauer, and Christoph Michael.
from the Hasso Planner Institute with the uh, contribution entitled Embedded Smartphone Remote Lab MOOC with optional real hardware experience for over 4,000 students. No present. So we proceed then to the Innovation Award that this year comes to Matthias Bauer, Martin Malko, and Christoph Meinel from the Hasso Planner Institute with improved access to online lecture videos. And last but not least, uh, the Best Student Paper Award goes to Antonio Menaco, Manuel Castro, Molina, uh, and Clara Maria Molina Perez from UNED with a contribution entitled Mining LMS Students Data on Online Task Based Master Degree Studies. Is Antonio here? No? Antonio is the student of doctoral degree, but he will leave, I believe, a couple of hours ago there. Thank you very much, then. Thank you very much. Uh, for the presentation of the awards. As I told you, the next week they will be published in the website and you will receive all the presenters and the co-authors of each one of the awards, the certificate in PDF, and you can put in your CV. And this is a really, we are, Educon are really proud of your work and the presentation you did, as well as all the other 300 uh, people, uh, 300 presentations that we have in the Educon. Finally, for, you have to say something more or not? Uh, just for a closing. Please. Okay. Yes, okay. we are starting now the closing. If you like, we'll do the yeah. closing by your side. You are the first Thank one you. from the University of La Laguna. Thank you very kind. Uh, so, dear colleagues, uh, I assume that you should be very proud by now, very tired as well, uh, after an exciting and very interesting conference. So, thank you very much uh, to begin with for attending uh, this closing ceremony. In return, and within the best tradition of engineer, I will try to apply the so-called KISS principle and keep this closing speech short and simple. We have come to the end of a sensational work week in which the ULL, our university, has had the pleasure to be the proud host of the best conference on engineer education in the world. During the last four days, people coming from universities, institutes, companies, and research centers from over 15, 50 countries of the five continents have shared their experience, knowledge, and expertise on this thrilling field in a wonderful environment. I must confess that when Karina first told me many months ago about the possibility of bringing Educom to Tenerife and the ULL, I was a little bit scared. We knew each other for many years already, and I know full well of her capacity to succeed in whatever task she undertakes. However, managing such an event really seemed to me a Herculean challenge. Yet, she's an excellent engineer, and I am sure you will agree with me that she managed to handle exquisitely the myriad of details involved and proved my concerns wrong by organizing a terrific conference on which she herself and the University of La Laguna can be proud. I am pleased to say that among many other things, this YEEE Global Conference has represented, without a doubt, a milestone in the improvement of higher education in engineering for our university, and I dare say it, our whole archipelago. And as a professor of electrical engineering myself, I can only be as grateful as I am delighted to have the, had the opportunity to attend such an outstanding event at my institution and to have been a part of the organization and the big family of YEEE Educational Society all over the world. Thank you very much to the YEEE for entrusting the organization of this fantastic event to our university. The conference venue close to the seashore was purposefully chosen to represent the spirit of an island and a university which, is, which are open to the world and which are aimed at begin, being recognized as bridges over the Atlantic and reliable links connecting people and continents alike. Indeed, although geographically separated during this week, I think we have been gathered together by our common passion for engineer education. I firmly believe that our world is today more than ever in need of people who can use their minds to understand the laws of nature and put them to work in practice for the sake of humankind. This is certainly a tough job, but also a very rewarding one, both personally and professionally, because it combines the fulfillment of our professional ambitions with the improvement of the societies to which we belong. I cannot think of a discipline best suited for such purpose that engineer. Whether it is for building pipelines to supply water to modern cities and remote villages alike, designing efficient electric grids that smoothly integrate renewable energies or using IT to improve the quality of a life worldwide, engineer as a modern atlas has become the scaffold, both real and virtual, upon which the present world is built. Thus, 
Before I bid you farewell, I think it is my duty to appoint you a final task. When you return to your institutions, overflowing with the energy, the passions, and the ideas you have collected in this conference, I beg you to use them to shape and polish the brilliant minds of the future male and female engineers in your countries so that they can contribute to make the world a better place for everyone. As challenging and difficult as the task might seem, I'm sure you will all be up to it. Indeed, it is not in vain that we are all engineers ourselves. And thus, compelled by our background and our approach to the world, we will find pleasure in solving difficult problems in a creative and efficient way. With this appeal to new achievements, I send you back home as contemporary Ulysses and Richard and empowered after this admittedly short but also hopefully an eventful and pleasant journey to Tenerife. All of you will take a piece of our hearts with you back home, while we will remain here grateful and cherishing the memories of these wonderful days we have shared with you. With the sole consolation of the beautiful verse of the English poet William Wordsworth, who once wrote, for nothing can bring back the hour of splendor in the grass, of glory in the flower, we will grieve not, rather find strength in what remains behind. On behalf of our Chancellor, our whole university, and the people of Tenerife, I wish you a safe and pleasant journey back home. For those of you who will stay with us for the weekend, I hope you enjoyed it, if only a fraction of how much we have enjoyed having you around. And to all of you, dear friends, goodbye, ciao, au revoir, arrivederci, auf Wiedersehen, Saijan, Sayonara, Wadeand, and see you in Dubai 2019. Thank you very much and bon voyage. Pues the next one will be the secretary of the IEEE Education Society. IEEE Education Society is the first sponsor of the conference. This is the ninth conference. Next year will be in Dubai, as you know. It will be the tenth conference in the 2019. And the IEEE Education Society has a really, I believe, one of the most important presences in, a, in one of the DUCON conference. This year we have the president, the secretary, we have the vice, three vice presidents, the vice president in educational activities, vice president in publications, and vice president in conferences. And I believe this is one of the biggest support that we have uh, for this kind of conference, in, in this case in Europe, Middle East, and Africa. Thank you. Melania, it's mm -hmm. your turn to talk. Okay. Well, I want to thank uh, uh, the, Uni the Universidad de La Laguna, Universidad de Vigo, EUNED, they are the organizers of this conference, this 2018 conference, EDUCON, and uh, also the sponsors. I have to thank uh, the authors for, for your collaborations, for your presence, for your participation. And uh, I want to invite you for next year in Dubai, and I hope to see some of you there. And I want to thank in special Manuel. Karina, thank you very much. It has been a wonderful organization. Uh, it was very organized. And when I saw yesterday during the dinner, the carnival, it reminds me my, my land, <laughs> where we have carnival also. So thank you very much for everything. And uh, if you are members of IEEE, I advise you to become members of IEEE Education Society because it's a very um, good organization. We are a society, although we are based, American-based organization is international. Many members of our board of governors are from different continents, different countries, uh, Spain, uh, Portugal, Brazil, and others, and uh, as you could see, we have a lot of support. We are a very um, united team. We have Manuel, we had Edmundo, we had uh, uh, the president uh, of uh, IEEE Education Society, I'm the secretary. We have also the presence of Jeff Freud, who is the, the editor of Transactions and Education. And, uh, if you have any chance to look at our homepage and if you want to join us, this is an invitation for you. Thank you very much and I hope that you have a, a nice trip back to your home. Thank you. Well, this is the, my last time to, to talk to you in this conference. I'd like to thank, of course, my two co-chairs. I believe the work that we did Karina from the University of La Laguna, 
uh, Martin Llamas that is now in Madrid because he has some personal things at the last moment to do there from the Universidad de Vigo and myself from the Spanish University for Distance Education, La UNED. We did a really nice team. In this case, we know for some things there, but I believe never would work so tie to tie and really together closer there and we, we did a really good team there. The universities did a good team. I'd like to congratulate and I believe the work done by the University of Laguna is really impressive there. All the people involved, all the supporting people, more than 40 young people that was put in there, working there, and all the faculty of the departments that was involved, like Rosa Gil and all the people that was involved there. I believe they do a really good work in the awards, in the technical activities, in the reviewers. We have more than 1,000 people involved in the conference. This is too much people. Between reviewers, authors, co-authors, technical committees, and so on, to put and to coordinate during near two years 1,000 people is a really huge job. I believe it was okay, and this is your turn to talk and to talk for the future and to see in the future there. And all these kind of things. We have 300 papers, as I'd say. We receive around 470. Then we have a, a rejection rate about 63%. It's not really, really so high. It's not so low. I believe we are more or less in the, in the place we have. And we have some number, 100 countries, 100 countries of the people, 1,000 people involved from 100 countries. And here in presence, we have 50 countries. This is a really lot of people. 500 people was involved in the presence here around the conference. Now we should be around 150 because it's the last moment, the last day. I really appreciate that you are until the last moment. This year, we have a significant uh, enhance in the conference that was as we put in an early time the workshops and the scheduling, a lot of people do a lot of time to be here in Tenerife. Sometimes you go to a conference only for your day and you made your presentation or you attend to a couple of sessions. This year I believe that the, probably more than 60% of the people do all the conference and do bio part. This is part of the Educon community and I believe this is one of the things that we'd like to be proud in this kind of medium to, to large conference. This is typical for a small conference, like for example, we have another one, TAE, that will be in June here in, in La Laguna again. This is a Spanish and Portuguese conference in, in general, but have some international activities from South America. But in this case, all the 100 people used to be all the conference because this is a really small community there. To try to have a large and huge community of 200, 250, 30, 300 people working together for three days in a conference is really difficult and really complicated today. But I believe we, we got it. Thank you to the, to the presence of the rector of the Universidad de Laguna the first day. All the rectors have a lot of work and a lot of fires to extinguish every day. We know because we are normally in, in, in positions of responsibility in the university. And it's really appreciated to be the vice rectors and to be the rector there for the first day. And finally, thank to all of you. If without the authors, we cannot do conferences, of course. IEEE is really, and IEEE Society, the Society is really proud of the members. We are more than 3,000 members in all the world. We like to continue maintaining these members and increasing as much as possible. It's not easy today because uh, the financial things in all the places are not really good. We have, as a wrong experience, 10 to 15, a few uh, present, uh, presentations that cannot come because final, final issues. They cannot present in the conference and they will not be loaded to the ITP Explorer, but they are part of the proceedings, of course, because they pay the, the fees. But uh, the financial effects, always you can, is knowing and, and we can see in every place. We try to do a, a conference that is not really expensive. In Europe now, typical conference is around 800 euros. Is a typical, and they didn't give a lot of services to the conference. We try to put in a bit more reduced price all much of the services we could. We put the gala dinner in the services. It's not easy today. And we have, of course, to say thanks to the sponsors we have. We have four industry sponsors. We have all the sponsors in the, in the area, like the Cabildo, like the City Hall, Platanos de Canarias, the Water. We have a lot of and, and all the bananas that you take it was 
given in this case by the Platano de Canarias, and it's really, really nice there. Thank you to all of you, and I believe the last, last word may be done by Karina. Only the last word, say hello, say <laughs> bye-bye, and all the people must be there. Only the last word. Thank you very much to all. The last word is thank you. Thank you of all of us, all of you, for being here in Tenerife and here today, the last day. Thank you. Um, bye. And, and I would like to return to Tenerife and see you in Dubai. <laughs>